go into your computer go to C drive let's create a folder called SQL backup right click at empty space and go to new folder and put SQL backup okay now the SQL backup function is inside SQL where you need to log in first let's log into your SQL username admin password is also admin go to file backup database and when this your first time to do backup you just need to click on the three dot button go to C drive and go to SQL backup and click OK click OK then you start to backup the next time when you want to do backup it's become much more simpler just go to file backup database click OK that's all so what happened is inside your C drive SQL backup folder the system will actually put in the name of the company together with the date for your backup file so you do not require to rename your backup file and in this example we do two types of backup at the same on the same day so you have the second one with a dash 2 after doing this then only you should copy this whole folder or send this folder to a external hard disk or pen drive and so on remember try not to directly back up to a pen drive because pen drive is an external storage should not have processing happen so back up to your hard disk and copy and paste to your pen drive or paste to a cloud google drive okay and so on so this is how you do backup remember try to do a daily backup because when things happen the only way for your consultant or dealer to save you is through the backup file and to do a restore what we need to do is at the login screen click on the three dot button next to the company name and you can click the restore button and click on the three dot button to search for your backup file so basically your backup is, file is over here so let's restore remember put in the company name as your database name and in this time put your date why? it's because in SQL restore the system will not replace the previous database you have two identical same database so when you log in you have the same company you might not know which one is which so that's why by putting in the date you can distinguish which one is the earliest which one is the latest so what you need to do is you can right click the old database and drop database link remember always only left one company over the selections for the same company else you might key in today transaction in the first one then tomorrow transaction in the second one and one good thing about SQL is our licensing is based on database once a company or database have been activated you can actually back it up bring to your house install SQL and restore back and you can always continue your work from your house and tomorrow back up and put back to your office your house one will be a licensed copy for that database or company so this is how you do a backup and restore and remember please do a daily restore a daily sorry a daily backup is because imagine today is the last day of GSC submission and suddenly your database is corrupted so you need to do a restore when is your previous restore yesterday then you only need to change for one day transaction what if you have not backup for two weeks one month then there will not be enough time for you to chase back all the transaction so please do so